Hi, welcome back. We are going to read chapter 12 of Two Dogs in a Trench Coat Go to School. Chapter 12. That night at dinner, Watto kept humming to himself. He couldn't get the song out of his head. What does Watto keep grumbling about? asked Stuart's dad. Beats me, said Stuart. You know who was so grumbly today? said Stuart's mom. Brenda. She ran out of sticky notes and I thought she was really going to lose it. Yep. You want to see a worked up, Brenda? Take away your sticky notes. <laughs> well, I sure know how that feels, said Stuart's dad. Can't get work done without sticky notes. And tape, said Stuart's mom. Oh, highlighters. I love those. Boy, office supplies are so great, said Stuart's dad. We have so much fun. If you're lucky, son, when you grow up, you'll get to work in an office. Office supplies are almost as fun as school supplies. I sure am envious that you get to play with school supplies all day. That's not really what I do, said Stuart. Do you play with office supplies all day? Pretty much, said Stuart's parents in unison. And do big projects, said Stuart's mom. We do a lot of big projects. That's another reason being a grown-up is so fun. Big projects all the time. Every big project you do in school is just preparing you for life as an office worker. You're so lucky. What a time to be alive, said Stuart's dad. Waldo hummed some more. I think the dogs need to go out, said Stuart. May I be excused and uh, take them for a walk? Sure thing, said Stuart's parents. It was a nice night. Watto hummed while he and Stuart and Sassy walked down the sidewalk. Stuart was quiet, looking straight ahead, while the dogs smelled the trees and the grass to see what the neighborhood dogs were up to. <gasps> Bitsy got a new collar, said Sassy. Amos ate the roast chicken his people made for dinner, said Watto. Waffles is a good girl, said Sassy. Sir Pepperton is in love, said Waldo. Squirrel, said Sassy. The dogs perked up their ears and pointed their noise noses at the squirrel, who flapped its tail tauntingly across the street. Sassy whined. Waldo hummed a song that was, in his opinion, extremely menacing. Come on, guys, said Stuart. Leave it. The dogs ignored him. They pulled on their leashes. There was a squirrel and it was their job to defend their home. The squirrel continued fluffing. The dogs were on high alert. <laughs> I am making a personal connection to that because whenever I am taking um, Cooper and Bo for a walk and they see a squirrel, they will just pull on their leash and not stop until I guess the squirrel, squirrel ones runs away. Ch -ch -ch, said the squirrel. Watto growled. <laughs> Calm down, Watto, said Stuart. After what she said, said Watto. What? The squirrel? What'd he say? asked Stuart. He said, Nana, Nana, boo, boo, and squirrel, said Sassy. The squirrel looked at the dogs, pointed its little finger toward them, and leapt onto a tree trunk. Now, said Watto, and they both bolted toward the squirrel. Or, that was the plan. But since they were attached to leashes, and this was nowhere near the first time they tried to chase the squirrel up the street, up a tree, Stuart was ready and braced himself. Leave it, Stuart again, said Stuart again. I don't want to leave it, said Waldo. It's our job, said Sassy. Our job might not involve sticky notes, but keeping that squirrel away is our job. It's our big project, said Waldo. Squirrels aren't a big project, said Stuart. They are a little project. They are literally a tiny, fluffy, little project. Individually, sure, said Waddle, but all of them together is big. You might not realize because we are so good at it. We keep so many squirrels out of the house. You do, said Stuart. You bet, said Sassy. We're professionals, and if all dogs did as good a job as we did, there would be no squirrels at all. They'd all go to Squirrel Town, said Waldo. Squirrel Town, said Stuart. <laughs> Squirrel Town, do you guys think that's a real thing? <laughs> 
Squirrel Town is where all of the squirrels will go, said Waldo. One day, all the dogs will do such a good job that they will get rid of all of the squirrels. And all of those squirrels will, leave, will live in Squirrel Town, said Sassy. And, like, will Squirrel Town be somewhere you can actually go? Will some poor town be completely overrun with squirrels? Or is that part of a dog mythology, said Stuart. It's not a place with people, said Watto. It is only squirrels. I don't know where that is. We will be able to go there, though, said Sassy. Oh, yes, there will be many dogs going on vacations in Squirrel Town, said Watto. Wouldn't that be like taking your job on vacation with you, said Stuart? Mm, I suppose, said Sassy. But the truth is, we like our job. Keeping the squirrels out is fun, said Watto. We are vigilant, said Sassy. They are so afraid of us, said Watto. And one day there will be no more squirrels, said Sassy. They will all be in Squirrel Town, said Watto. And then we can nap, said Sassy. So, does it bother you that your job is never done, said Stuart? Well, we do it every day, said Watto, like you at school. You go to school every day. And now, at the end of the day, you can feel good about a good day's work. Or, hold on, is this why you are always so worried? Because you do not feel like you have done a good day's work? Maybe it is that a little, said Stuart. Because you have done a good day's work, said Sassy. You are such a good human. So here is um, their vision of Squirrel Town. We thought it was because school is a terrible place, said Waldo. But now we have been there and we know it is a great place with delicious food and beautiful music. And running and catching, said Sassy. And recess, said Waldo. Plus, Mrs. Tweet, she is probably one of the best teachers in the world. She's the only teacher you ever known, said Stuart. That is not true, said Watto. We knew a uh, dog trainer lady. Dog trainer lady was amazing. She was like a magician. She made treats appear from everywhere. See, even the dog trainer was better than Mrs. Tui, said Stuart. But she was a trainer, said Watto, and Mrs. Tui is a teacher. We learned to sit and stay from dog trainer lady, but we learned multiplication from Mrs. Tui. What more could you want in a teacher, said Sassy. She's nice, she's smart, she's good at teaching things. My only complaint is that she doesn't reward us with cookies every time we get something right. <gasps> she should do that, said Watto. Is that the problem, Stuart? Are you sad because she doesn't give you cookies? <laughs> that would help, said Stuart. Does she have a suggestion box, said Watto. I'm totally going to suggest that to her. <laughs> Good luck, said Stuart. <laughs> and that was chapter 12. All right, stay tuned for chapter 13.